Commissioning of Industrial Court Judges' Quarters. The Executive Governor of River State, Paris Tanyesu, is the one we case, provided quarters for the judges. One of the things that attracted me to build for not judges of River State, also judges of Federal Court, I was chief of staff. And I like telling that I was called. But I won't name the name of the judge, I won't call the judge name, but for the Federal Court, I won't mention. That the man had been locked out. You can look at the embarrassment. A judge came back, the door had been locked. He can't enter. So from that day, I had this feeling that why should judges be exposed to this kind of thing that could lead to the top of their life? And I said no. And so God gave her the opportunity to saddle the responsibility of governance. And so when this came, I said, look, my attorney general said, these judges, I said, where are they living? They said, they are very What happened when I was chief of staff will not uh, happen. The autonomy of the judiciary, federal government saying, they believe in the autonomy. Believe in the autonomy, we will agree. The autonomy, the rent is there. They have not got the money. No, it's not true. What they are doing is to see if they can use the state to cover you that say you are granted. What is the position of our federal courts today to show? If the federal government wants autonomy judiciary, how can the government today we say that the court should be shut down two months, almost two months now? Whose country can survive a court to be shut down for two months? The federal government collects more than 50 percent of the revenue from the revenue sharing formula. Yet all this will fall down to the state. And then you are telling me we are passing the federal uh, system. The judges express gratitude to the governor for his goodwill. His Excellency and the very good people of River State have just built and furnished four beautiful residential houses for the judges of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria who work and are resident here in Waterford. Till today, these judges live in rented accommodation. Your Excellency, you have kept your word. For within three years, we are gathered here today to commission and hand over what you promised. We thank you very much for this very rare gesture. Thank God we have a governor in Iba State who will not allow the federal judiciary and the judges of the federal courts to suffer any hardship in River State. Members of the bar in River State commend your excellency. The circle of development by his excellency is today anchored on the judges of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria, River State, as the world class residential court has built for them by the River State is to be commissioned. Long live the River State Judiciary. Long live the government of River State. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless. The essay to the governor on special projects, George Kelly D. Alabo, stated the project description. This project is sitting on 4,000 square meters of land. Here we have four duplexes, each having five bedrooms and suites, the main lounge and the family lounge, and then the guest room. These buildings are all exquisitely furnished and structurally very sound. We also have for recreation a clubhouse here and a standard swimming pool. This project has been built by Blue Brick Construction Limited. Project completion period is 12 months and exactly 12 months they completed the project. Thank you very much. Professor Zakios Adingo San, the Attorney General of Commissioner for Justice, River State. The point bears repeating that the sole responsibility of the government of River State to build quarters or courts for our federal courts located in River State. That responsibility is solely that of the federal government and its agencies. However, as a government, we are conscious of the fact that the administration of justice at the federal courts in River State is needed for the benefit of River's people and our brothers and sisters doing business in this state. It is that realization that informs the transformative intervention 
made by His Excellency in the infrastructure of Central Gulf located in the River State, which have gone a long way in enhancing the speedy, efficient, and effective administration of justice. Indeed, I can say unanswerably that as far as service the judiciary is concerned, River State is the state to be. By this singular act, your Excellency has practically demonstrated your affection and innate passion for the welfare and well-being of the Nigerian judiciary. You have remained a strong voice in the clamor for judicial independence and financial autonomy. You do not just say it to attract attention, but have physically demonstrated it in different ways. The weaker model should be holistically espoused and replicated by other governors in the country for rapid development and growth of the Nigerian judiciary. What is worth doing should be worth doing well with passion and enthusiasm. In River State, Mildred Choma, Bain TV News.